Hello, men and brethren. Today we are, I'm doing a quick little tip here. I'm working on my old uh, Champion 20 inch drill. And uh, I've got two holes back here in the back that I'm gonna mount the motor adapter and the bottom jack shaft to. And uh, these are full of crud, let's, sh let's say, to be polite. And uh, anyway, these, these holes need chased. Now, I happen to have a really cool variable speed reversible flesh sensing cordless drill that I'm going to do this with. And here it is. Now, these braces have the perfect chuck for holding a tap. The catch is you have to brace your body perfectly still because you've got about 16 inches of leverage on the end of a very, very brittle, hard piece of steel. So brace your gut, brace your body, brace, get three point anchor somehow or another. But this works great for me. I chase a lot of threads just like this. Now, one word of caution on old equipment, before depression era, somewhere in there, Old equipment may or may not be standard thread pitch. Now this is a half 13 hole and I did check it before I checked the old bolts before I uh, stuck a tap in there. They may have been half 12. They may have been half 14, who knows? Uh, because some of these factories, as a matter of fact, most of these factories made their own bolts. So, and they made their own taps. And, you know, they cut the bolts on a lathe, they made their taps on a lathe, then the blacksmith hardened them, you know, so you never know what you're going to get. So anyway, I'm going to show you how I'm going to chase these threads. A little bit of licky dog there. And you'll notice, if you can see, I am very well braced up here. I'm, my top hand doesn't move. And a quick word about taps. On these taps, this is a three flute gun tap. That means that it ejects the cuttings out the end that way. So if I was actually taking a real cut on this, it would have ejected the threads or ejected the scarf, the, the shavings that way, swarf, swarf. I think that's the word for it uh, because of the way the tip is ground on this. Uh, can't get that to focus. Come on, baby. There we go. You can barely make out the way the, this is ground. Um, uh, there is a YouTube channel called, uh, our industrial heritage, I believe that does, uh, that has a video on taps. Um, there are some very good videos from the world war two era, uh, that explains different taps, different techniques and how to do things. I suggest everybody watch them because, Hey, they're cool. Anyway, that concludes this quick little tip. Y'all have a good one. Watch for deer.